Hi guys, welcome to Talking Money with Nozi, personal finance made simple. Personal finance principles that lead to financial success are the same no matter who you are, where you live, where you come from. Principles like spending less than you earn, saving and investing before you spend, getting rid of lifestyle debt, having a three to six months emergency fund, none of this matters if you've got a negative money mindset. What is money mindset? Your money mindset are the beliefs and attitudes that you have about money. These beliefs can come from your family, your friends, and other places that influence your life. What did your parents teach you about money? Or what did they not teach you about money? How was money handled in your home when you were growing up? Was there negativity around money or was there positivity? How do your friends talk about money? Do they always say bad things about money or do they say good things about money? Your environment shapes your beliefs and attitudes about money. In turn, what you believe about money determines all of the results you have in your life surrounding money. Your mindset determines the actions you take or don't take and your actions or lack of action determines your financial results. If you have a positive money mindset, you are more likely to make decisions that will lead to financial success. But if you have a negative money mindset, that negativity will lead you to make decisions that lead to financial failure. Here are some examples of common negative money mindsets and how they can prevent you from achieving your financial goals. Negative money mindset number one is money is evil. Nobody wants to associate with anything that is evil. If you believe that money is evil, you will make decisions that will keep you away from money or that will keep money away from you. This means that you will forever spend all or more money than you earn to get rid of money, right? Or you will sabotage your career or business growth because growth brings more money. And since you believe that money is evil, you will avoid or kill growth and stay stuck in your career or business. Negative money mindset number two is rich people are greedy and selfish. Again, nobody wants to be evil or selfish or greedy. If you believe that having a lot of money will make you selfish and greedy, you will avoid accumulating money. This means you will avoid saving because saving involves accumulating money. It also means you will avoid investing because investing also involves accumulating money and assets. This belief will make you live paycheck to paycheck, spending all the money you have or even spending more than you earn and keeping you broke. Negative money mindset number three is the belief that there's nothing you can do about your financial situation. If you believe that there's nothing you can do to improve your finances, then you will do nothing to improve them. You will do nothing to get out of debt. You will do nothing to earn more money. You will do nothing to save. You will do nothing to invest. And your money situation will not change. Not because it's impossible, but because you've told yourself that you can't change it. Therefore, you won't take any action to change it. Negative money mindset number four is managing money is too difficult. Nobody likes doing difficult things. We all like doing easy stuff. If you believe that managing your money is difficult, you will do that which you think is easy, which is mismanaging money. This also means you will find it easier to spend rather than to save. You will find it easier to always be in debt rather than to be debt free. You will find it easier to remain broke rather than to build financial freedom. To be good with money, we need to change our money mindsets from negative to positive. Here are some examples of how to improve your money mindset. Number one, start seeing money as a tool to accomplish good things. Instead of believing that money is evil, think of all the good things that money can do. Money buys food for the hungry. Money buys medicine for the sick. Money buys clothes for the naked. Money buys homes for families. Money builds schools for children. 
Another way to improve your money mindset is to read personal finance books. For example, read books like The Richest Man in Babylon and my all-time favorite, The Millionaire Next Door, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, The Automatic Millionaire. And I even wrote an ebook about personal finance titled The What, Where, Why, How of Saving and Investing. What personal finance books teach you is that anyone can learn to manage their money better it's not as complicated as it seems. They also teach you that you don't have to let money control you. You must be in control of your money. And another thing is that life is less stressful and more peaceful when you learn how to manage your money properly. Number three, stop comparing yourself with others and be grateful for what you have already. Have you ever been jealous of what other people have? Have you ever felt that you're behind other people your age when you see the things they have, the cars they drive, the houses they live in, the schools that their kids go to? You're like, yo, I am so behind. Comparing yourself to others can have a negative effect on your finances and on your mindset. Worrying about what others have can make you end up spending more money than you have just to keep up or to try to fit in. But the funny thing is that some people that you're comparing yourself to also feel the same about others. And it's a cycle, right? And they may be struggling financially as well. Once you realize that things are not always as they seem, once you learn to be content with the things that you have, you start to worry less and less about what others have or what others don't have and comparing yourself. Another way to improve your money mindset is to know and believe that your financial goals are achievable with a plan. By believing in yourself and changing the way you view money, you will find it easier to develop better habits. Over time, your confidence will grow, your money mindset will improve, and your finances will also improve. Are you struggling with money right now? Are you burdened with debt? Are you living paycheck to paycheck? Are you unable to save, unable to invest? Before rushing off to start saving or rushing off to start investing or coming up with a debt elimination strategy, start with your mindset. Question the beliefs that you have about money. Where do your beliefs come from? Are they true or are they false? If currently things are not going well financially, you're in debt, you are drowning, you are living paycheck to paycheck, you can't even save, but you're earning. I'm not talking about people who don't have money or who are not working. I'm talking about people who are working, they are earning decent salaries and their salaries have improved and increased over the years, but somehow their financial standing is getting worse and worse and worse with time. We need to change what's up here. What's up here controls everything. It controls what we do with money. So if what's here is wrong, we're going to do wrong things with our money. But if what's up here is good and positive, we will do the right things. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe to this channel so that you get a notification whenever I post a new one. Until next time, cheers.